And so this is trail day 61, Saturday, August 15th, 2020. And this was the camp spot for the night last night. I put my hammock between those two trees. I thought about building a fire since somebody put all this wood here, but I decided against it. But the shelter's just right over there. It's a little after 10 o'clock. So getting an earlier start today than we did yesterday. And I have two potential goals in mind. We'll just see how the day goes. One of them's only nine miles away and the other's 13. Double check, make sure I didn't leave anything. But the uh, nine mile one, I think, this is close to road, high weekend use. The shelter was right there. So I may want to skip that one and do the 13 miles. Just depends on how busy it is when I get there. And we have a couple of good uphills and some rock scrambles to deal with today, so should be a good day. Rutland Airport. Clarendon. It's Clarendon. So that was the view of the airport. Uh, there's another hiker up there. I've heard that there's two airport views. The book only lists one. So it didn't look like a very big airport but we're going down a pretty good descent right now uh, we'll go down into the gorge and have a uh, suspension bridge to go over those always terrify my wife It's always fun to let her walk out on the bridge and then walk on behind her and make it bounce a little. She'll probably have something smart to say as she's editing this. <laughs> so, and then also across the highway up here there's a store not too far, so I might go down there. Get a drink and a snack. And part of the reason I'm not in a rush these couple of days, the, in case you hadn't seen my other video, or I said something about the chafing on my back from the other shirt. It's getting a lot better, but. I'm wanting to get some miles down the trail, but I don't want to like overdo it and reverse the healing. I want it to get healed, get better, and then I can move on. But I figured the mileage this morning, I meant like 575 miles. That's accounting for skipping Massachusetts. So, I'll be over the 600 mile mark here in a day or so. Kind of cool. I'm 
Well, we may not have to walk to the store for a cold drink. All right. Here's the suspension bridge. So I just can't help myself. There's a store, like less than a mile. I know I just had a cold soda, but it's only 12 o'clock. I know I got like five miles left to go. So I'm going to walk down to this store and get another drink and maybe pick up a couple of snacks. And just enjoy the day. Or attempt to enjoy the day anyway. It looks like it's fairly flat terrain, so why not? So I'm back on the trail after a sandwich and some cold drinks. A couple gave me a ride back to the parking lot and then provided trail magic to some other hikers. So it's three o'clock in the afternoon. Don't have very far to go to the next shelter. And it's turned out to be a great day. So it's a pretty good steep climb coming up from the highway to here. And that's what we gotta go up now. I had to stop and take a break. The old calves are starting to burn. Uh, I'm kind of glad that I waited a little while. It's cooler now than it was, or would have been, if I just went to the deli and came back. But then once we get to the top of this, which we should be close. It's downhill to the shelter. But I think it's a rock scramble, so we'll see how that goes. So it just came up through a bunch of rocks and then keeps coming uphill here. And this is the trail. So this is rock scramble. I don't know if it's Talking about downhill, uphill, or on both sides. Uh. Whew. And the rock scramble continues. So we made it over the hill. There was a little view spot, but it was of that airfield again, so I didn't record it. It was a pretty good little climb, though. Probably the 
steepest one I've seen in Vermont so far. I mean, it wasn't as long as Stratton Mountain, but I don't remember anything on Stratton Mountain being that steep. We should be on the downhill grade now. All the way to the shelter. And then if it's... I know these three hikers that were down at the parking lot. Uh, two of them I stayed in a hostel in Connecticut. They're going to the next shelter, but being a Saturday, the parking lot was full, so there's a lot of people there. Then I still got time, because it's almost four o'clock. I'm going over Killington Mountain and stay at the next shelter. I think it's just four miles. But if it's not crowded at this one, I'll just stop here. I so just passed a couple I met a few days ago that was doing the LT with their dog. I told them they're going the wrong way, aren't you? But they're going home. They uh, said the dog needs some more training, which he was barking and being aggressive at everybody. And they needed to reevaluate, but would be back out. Huh? I've seen that a lot in my almost 600 miles. Or People leave the trail. And I've been there myself on the Bartom Trail. I got off earlier than planned. Taking on any track, whether it's the LT, the Long Trail, Vermont Long Trail. Or the AT. Definitely not a light task. And it looks like we are at the shelter. Or maybe it's the privy for the shelter. The shelter should be close. 